Sorensen Squeeze 10 continues to prove that it's the gold standard in desktop video encoding. In this video, we'll go over some of the new enhancements in Squeeze that will make your life easier and your videos better. First off, you'll notice that Squeeze now comes in three flavors, Light, Standard, and Pro. Each version has the same interface but different input and output options. We're looking at the interface for Squeeze 10 Pro. We always strive to support and adopt the latest and greatest formats when they're released into the market, and Squeeze 10 is no different. New to Squeeze is HEVC support. The high efficiency video coding uses the X.265 codec to create superior results at lower data rates. You'll now be able to decode HEVC in all versions of Squeeze, but to encode HEVC you'll need Squeeze 10 Pro. Also new to Squeeze 10, you can encode and decode the VP9 codec. We've also made some additional preset enhancements. For example, we're introducing Simple Format Conversion, which is available in all three versions of Squeeze. Simple Format Conversion gives you the ability to transcode your videos from one format to the other with minimal changes. Simple Format Conversion is available for MKV, MP4, and MOV outputs. We're also introducing multi-rate bundle encoding. Multi-rate bundling means that you can now encode multiple forms of adaptive bitrate streams in just one encode. Previously, if you wanted to encode for Apple Adaptive, Microsoft IIS, MPEG-4, and MPEG-Dash, you would need four different encode jobs. With multi-rate bundling, all you need is one preset and Squeeze takes care of the rest. This demo is taking place on a Mac. On a PC, you'll also see a fifth option for Adobe Dynamic Streaming. Speaking of adaptive, Squeeze 10 can now encode audio-only streams included with HLS to make sure that it is Apple App Store compliant. In addition, Squeeze now has HLS encryption support, providing you an added layer of security to your HLS stream. Need to insert closed captions into your video? With Squeeze 10, it's no problem. Simply right-click on your source or preset and select the option Link Captions. Browse to the .scc file, click Open. That will then link the captions to your encoded transport stream. Oh yeah, did we mention that Squeeze 10 can now support 4K encoding? That's right, put it to the test. We've just touched on a few of the significant enhancements in Squeeze 10, and as you can see it is packed with power. Feel free to take a look at some of our other great training videos to get the most out of Squeeze 10.